So today we have something incredibly unusual. We actually have a SOG product on our table. I don't really review them often. I purchase them and then I get disappointed and I don't feel like making the video. This one though is worth it. After its incredible performance at the gauntlet of a 16 plus out of a possible 20 plus, we really need to talk about it because the scissor performance is really, really outstanding. The question though, is what about the rest of it? Is it any good? Is it worth your money? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The SOG Snippet. Okay, so the SOG Snippet. First of all, the scissors. That's the big thing here. The scissors, how good are the scissors? According to our gauntlet testing, these are the number one scissors in multi-tool form when it comes to um, stats. They had a 16 plus. Now, technically the next tool mini flagship got a 17, but it could not do the precision test. So I'm gonna give it to the SOG instead. Now, it's a very unusual scissor-based tool. Um, when you look at things like the Leatherman Micra or uh, the Gerber Splice, they all have spring-loaded pliers. These are scissors. These are not. They work kind of like a generic scissor where you have to manipulate them by, by having something on both sides of your fingers. Now, how bad is this? I mean, is it really that uncomfortable? What I will say is that you're not going to use this long term, right? If you are, you should be getting a dedicated pair of scissors. However, for short term use, now I got band-aids, so it's causing an issue here. I don't think it's that much of a problem. When you look at the performance, I would rather struggle a little bit with how uncomfortable it is to get better cutting performance. And these are excellent. Also notice that they have a um, Torx removal screw, so you can actually disassemble this, sharpen each blade independently, and then put it back together without having to work too hard at it. And that is excellent. Now, let's look at the other things that are part of this, because each side, I believe, has three implements. So starting with the blade. This actually is a pretty decent blade if you're comparing it to the others that are related. So this, um, the Gerber Splice or the Micra. Now the cool thing about blades that are on the inside when they're slip joint is that if they collapse, they get stopped by the frame itself. This is why I actually do prefer the Micra uh, over things where like, this, like the Gerber Splice that have blades on the outside. They're a little bit safer, and when you're using a small blade, things can get tricky. My suggestion is to avoid those if you can. This actually does really well. It's 420HC, like the Micra, and it actually has a bigger blade. I, the curvature, I think, is designed to put your thumb behind it, and with the fact that it has something to stop it, yeah, it's fine. I mean, you're not going to use it for anything large, but it'll work just fine. Now, the next tool is a combination bottle opener slash micro flathead. And these are, you know, surprisingly <laughs> quite useful. Um, there's a similar tool on many of the other smaller um, scissor-based multi-tools. And this one is going to probably perform just fine, once again, in 420HC. Where uh, I dislike this tool is when it comes to these plastic components that are inside the frame. There's two of them. One is uh, what they're calling a toothpick. Don't do that. Please, for the love of Mike, don't put this in your mouth. Can you just imagine all the lint and nasty stuff in your pocket that's getting on this? It's not like a Victorinox, which has the... Uh, toothpick kind of stuck inside the frame so there's nothing to touch it right I mean this is literally exposed don't use that it's probably good about good at cleaning maybe earwax out of earbuds or something like that use it for that if something that is um, sensitive and maybe gets scratched use it for that 
don't put your mouth, don't put this in your mouth, please, ever. It's okay. It's not great. And then the other side, we have three more implements. So a flathead, and this is actually excellent. This flathead is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen, in fact, and the longest one of any of the scissor-based keychain style uh, multi-tools. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's solid. Next up, will since it's deploying itself, is the tweezer. Um, yeah, not the greatest tweezer in the world. It's pretty flexible and it'll work, kind of. My suggestion is to take them, take a pair of pliers and actually bend the tips into each other a little bit so you have more flex space because right now that's, that's flat and you want a little bit more pressure to come together at the tip. So maybe with a little modification, this will be better. I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's great. The big deal here is the scissors. And so we're just making sure that it has additional useful features. Now, this is actually quite useful. Um, that kind of tip with that really pointy curved end, it's designed for getting under fingernails, but in truth, it's probably even better than that. And this file, this file is excellent. It way better than the, um, well, pretty much any of the files that I've seen from SOG, better than the Gerber files by a long shot in this size range. And I actually kind of like it better than the uh, the Leatherman. Yeah. So overall, how do I how do I rate this? I mean, this is twenty four dollars. I mean, the the micro just went up to thirty five. The style PS is thirty five. Also really good. Has the pliers. I think that one might still make it. But this is excellent. I don't see why I can't recommend this tool. And it's the only one of these that has a pocket clip. And oh my God, it fits perfectly in that little, you know, I'm, I'm doing it right now, but putting it in that little watch pocket in most pe people's jeans, this is like designed for that pocket. I do kind of wish that the lanyard ring they have here, which is designed to let you put it on a keychain or whatever, I kind of wish it was over here. And if, or on this side, you see, if it was here, what you could do is you could actually use this tool to dangle your keys. And that might be a fun modification, in fact, just moving this over to uh, this side. So it's exactly on the same side as this one, like that. That would have been perfect. But, you know, it's still quite good. So, SOG Snippet, is it worth the money? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's worth the money. Assuming that each of the SOG snippets that you get perform on par with the one that I have, especially when it comes to the scissor, I this is one of the better ones out there. And the scissors are much longer and more impressive than even the 91 millimeter Victorinox. So yeah, of all of them out there so far, this might be the first SOG that I can truly recommend. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again soon.